Dracula ants, scientifically known as Adatomerma, are a genus of ants that exhibit some intriguing and unusual behaviors. They are named after their peculiar feeding habits, which resemble the mythical vampire Dracula. Here's a detailed video explanation of Dracula ants. But before this, if you are new to this channel, then subscribe to my channel. Let's back to the video. Taxonomy. Dracula ants belong to the subfamily Amblyopanini, which is a group of ants commonly known as Dracula ants due to their feeding behavior. They are found in tropical regions, particularly in Southeast Asia, where they inhabit forest floors and leaf litter. Feeding behavior. Dracula ants have a unique method of feeding. The queens possess specialized mandibles that they use to pierce the exoskeleton of their own larva. By doing so, they inject a substance that prevents the larva from maturing into adult workers. These larvae become a food source for the queen, who consumes their hemolymph, insect, blood. This behavior is known as non-destructive cannibalism. Colony structure. Dracula ant colonies are relatively small compared to some other ant species. They typically consist of a single queen, a few male ants, and a small number of workers. The workers have multiple tasks, including foraging, nest maintenance, and caring for the queen and larva. Reproduction. Dracula ants reproduce through a process called haplodiploidy which is common among many ant species. The queen mates with males to produce diploid eggs, which develop into female worker ants. However, the queen can also lay unfertilized eggs, which develop into haploid males. Larval implantation. The most intriguing aspect of Dracula ant's reproductive strategy is the queen's unique method of larval implantation. She grasps a worker larva with her mandibles and pierces its exoskeleton, depositing her own eggs inside the body of the larva. The worker ants then raise these host larvae alongside their own, providing care and protection until the new Dracula ant offspring emerge. Symbiotic relationship. Dracula ants have a mutualistic relationship with another group of ants known as Anictus army ants. The Dracula ants live in close proximity to the army ant colonies and often utilize their foraging trails to scavenge for food. In return, the Dracula ants provide a food source for the army ants by allowing them to prey on their own larvae. Dracula ants showcase a unique and intricate set of behaviors, including non-destructive cannibalism, larval implantation, and symbiotic relationships. These adaptations have allowed them to carve out their niche in the complex world of ant colonies and contribute to the diversity of the insect kingdom. Dracula ants, also known as Dracula ants or vampire ants, are a group of ants belonging to the subfamily Amblyopanini. They are found in tropical and subtropical regions worldwide and are known for their intriguing feeding behavior and unique characteristics. One species commonly associated with Dracula ants is Maestrium camille, but other related species may also share similar traits. Feeding behavior. The most distinguishing feature of Dracula ants is their feeding method, which resembles that of vampires in folklore. These ants don't chew on their prey like most other ants. Instead, they are specialized predators with elongated mandibles that they use to impale their prey, typically small insects or other arthropods. Once the prey is immobilized, the Dracula ant uses its mandibles to puncture the prey's exoskeleton and consume its hemolymph, a vital fluid equivalent to blood in vertebrates. This unique feeding behavior gives them their vampire ant nickname. Colony structure. Dracula ants have relatively small colonies compared to some other ant species. A typical colony consists of a queen, workers, and brood, eggs, larvae, and pupae. 
They are typically found nesting in dead wood or leaf litter, where they can establish their colonies in small cavities or crevices. Reproduction. Dracula ant queens are typically responsible for establishing new colonies. However, their reproductive strategies can vary between species. In some cases, they may mate with males from their own colony or another nearby colony. After mating, the queen flies off to establish a new colony, shedding her wings once she finds a suitable nesting site. The queen then lays her first batch of eggs, which will develop into workers that help her expand and maintain the colony. Unique traits, besides their feeding behavior, Dracula ants possess other intriguing traits that set them apart from many other ant species. Mandible shape. The elongated and specialized mandibles are one of the most distinctive features of Dracula ants. Their mandibles are designed for piercing rather than chewing. Slow development. Dracula ant colonies have a relatively slow development rate compared to other ant species. This is likely due to the limited resources available in their small nesting sites. Non-social larva. The larva of Dracula ants are not cared for by the workers as in most ant species. Instead, the larva sequester themselves in individual silk cocoons during their development. They are fed by the workers only during their early stages. Reduced eyes. Dracula ants often have reduced eyes or, in some cases, no eyes at all. This adaptation is likely due to their subterranean lifestyle, where eyesight may not be as crucial. Dracula ants remain an area of ongoing research, and new discoveries about their behavior and ecology are continuously unfolding. These unique ants exemplify the remarkable diversity and adaptations found within the world of ants, showcasing how they have evolved to exploit different niches in the ecosystems they inhabit. I hope so now you will understand Dracula ants. Thanks for watching my content. If you like my content press the like button and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for upcoming videos. Thank you goodbye.